And so here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. You guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has graced the octagon yet again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Set to fight, John Bones Jones. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Here. So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. In nearly every fight, he's going to have a massive reach advantage. So we'll see what he chooses to do here in the early going, if he leans on the grappling or the wrestling. But that reach is a very powerful thing in modern-day mixed martial arts. It's one thing to have a reach advantage. It's another thing to use it as masterfully as John Jones has done in the past. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Good eyes to not take that shot. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Nice block. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Jones going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some really success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons 
or John Jones has called the card. Oh, nice hook by Jones. Slips the punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, his way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that thing. Shake that thing. Good combination there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Massive shot from the top. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Throws that deep and it lands. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Late round action now, and the storyline has been John Jones really from the outset. The ground and pound has been absolutely vicious. Yeah, just getting back to himself, J.A. Getting back to, I'm the guy that's going to take you down and put your head through the canvas. He got takedown early. He made sure that he took advantage of being in dominant position and made his opponent's pick. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Lee gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Back and forth we go. Under a minute now to go round one. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Making all these shots count. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jones. Oh. On to next time. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Go all right, here we go with round two. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output, oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, big left hook there. Effective jab there by Lee. Nice jab there by Johnny Bones, and man, what Daniel Cormier would do to have an 84-inch reach. Of course, it's one thing to have length, it's another to use it to great effect. I'm not sure anybody has mastered it like the future. Oh, oh, he's hurt. oh my goodness, what a right hand. Relax, relax. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Slips. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Take many of those. Oh, and he lands again. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big knee to the head. Wow. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. The straight right is there. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. All right, so now we start with a huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt, the kill shot. That's what they call it, to go and end the fight. He needs to fight back. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Oh. Jones, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter's going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked. Oh! He has to evade Stan's face. Oh, my. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. All right, well, good news is he rocked it. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to Nice crack there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to do it. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. to go in the round. Taking a lot of body shots as well. Lee's eye now closing up. Oh! Ten seconds now to go in the round. Two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I'm in a ton of trouble right now. Nice jab there by Jones. Oh, he continues to attack the body head again here, just as he did in the previous round. 
Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Takedown defense holds up. Effective use of the jab by Jones. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Jones is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Kick blocked by Jones. He's cut. Get the elbow. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Down, big shot lands for both guys. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets... Oh! Nice job, at least staying upright on that. Heavy on the cut, heavy on the cut. Under three minutes to go in our third round. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Protect yourself. You gotta protect yourself. Protect Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Work that, cut. Work that cut. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he is trying to chase down that finish. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Huge shots there. Flips the punch nicely there. And he's tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lim. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking the shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart of oh. This could be it. Oh, nice. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Jones is in half guard now. There it is, now he's going to mount. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're gonna get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Today. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good fun fight. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. about this fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight.
Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Take a seat, buddy. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe to toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this not fight. This fight has been amazing. These guys have laid it all out on the line. I wonder now who's going to be the first one to take a backward step and almost concede that this is too much. Jones's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Kick blocked by Jones. Oh man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of the night. Oh, he got him again. Jones is cut right on the bridge of his nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. Got to think the ringside physician will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You could see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and all right, it looks as though the fight's gonna continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's Ready see how he deals with Ready. this bad cut. All right, so the ref will get the action back on the way after that brief health and safety check, and to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action. Absolutely, I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. He's training huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Big right hand. Oh my goodness. Jones is caught on his These two guys are trading huge shots. This is crazy round of fighting. Not there. Nice. Nicely done. Under two minutes to go. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Jones is an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside physician and potentially stop this fight. His opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. Get excited and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. 
Takedown defense holds up. Lee's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Lee's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. This and final round. Do you believe that this next round is underway? In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Lee's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely... Oh, he might get finished here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters. Oh! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon!